Bethel Municipal Court will hear cases on the front lawn this week after flooding weeks ago. 7 News' Kimberly Brown joins us live with a look at this very unusual outside courtroom. Kim? Absolutely, Diane. If you're familiar with the area, I want to give you a layout of what you'll see. When you walk up the stairs, you'll run into security. Also, they have a hand sanitizer station for people who actually need it. But when you look over here, the judge's bench and even the clerk's bench, they're stacked on top of each other. These two podiums, they're for the defense and for the prosecutors. All of this a way to make sure cases are moving forward and that docket doesn't get backed up. White tents set up on the front lawn of the Greenville Municipal Court building are set to function as a courtroom with the judge's bench, a place for the court clerk and even the prosecutor and defendant giving space to hear and to plead cases. Judge Matt Holly has served as the municipal court judge for nearly 25 years. No, I have never seen anything like this done before. I'm aware that it has been done in the lower part of the state in some of the real small communities because of COVID. Municipal court hears traffic in criminal cases like driving under suspicion and forgery with penalties less than $500 and 30 days in jail. No jury trials here, but extra chairs are out to accommodate victims, witnesses, and their supporters. There was a backlog of cases from COVID. Shutting down the court again would only add to the list. There became clear that there were other things that needed to be addressed. Carpets needed to be pulled up completely instead of just being cleaned. Some mold was found. And so it just kind of became a, a domino effect that just as we thought we were ready to reopen, uh, there was another problem to address. According to the judge, the three sessions of court held on Monday went smoothly. Full days of court are expected the rest of the week. This court handles tickets given out by city police, so moving away from the court building in some cases would have been unlawful. One, by law, we're supposed to keep our paperwork, all the tickets, all the warrants, all the pending cases uh, vaulted when we're not using them. Uh, two, we're not supposed to take any of that paperwork off the premises under state law. Three, uh, it's hard to get somewhere where um, there is availability to the city net. We have a very sophisticated computer system that helps track all of our cases, both incoming and outgoing. Unforeseen circumstances uh, require creative solutions, and, and that's what the judge is doing here. He is keeping business moving. Indeed, that music, that business is moving. And to make sure folks are cool when they're under these tents, they have portable air conditioners. They are blowing cold air into the tents. And in each tent, they have fans. All the chairs are folded up now, but they have fans also blowing to keep that air circulating. The judge says that hopefully if things go as planned, they will be back inside the building come late next week. Reporting live from downtown Greenville, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. All right, Kimberly, well, according to the officials, those postponed cases from last week will receive a new subpoena in the mail with a rescheduled court date. Uh